Hey, if you're gonna be a new person at a hospital or doing the clinical rotation, stay tuned to this video. I'm gonna break down to you what you could expect. Gotcha. So basically what you could expect when you go into a hospital clinical rotation on the ambulance inside the hospital and etc you could expect something that happened similar to me where when i first became a paramedic and got to the south bronx of new york city there was a time about one to six months that it lasted for the people to break me in Mind you, I did nine to 10 months of clinical rotations there while in paramedic school. And after being cleared as a paramedic, I went back to the area to work there because I enjoyed it so much. And it's still after that took six months for them to break me in. What I mean by break me in is for them. And when I say them, I mean my coworkers, the regulars, the veterans. It took them about six months to start feeling comfortable with me. And I feel, and the way I make sense of it is that they were basically trying to see whether or not I was going to stick around, whether or not I knew my shit, and whether or not I was a good paramedic. So I say that to say this. On your first rotation, you could expect for people not to be all that social with you. You could for expect yourself to feel like a fly in the wall. Why? Because camaraderie brings people together. So if me and you see each other on the street, we might not even say hello to each other. But if me and you go ahead and save somebody's life together, then that brings us closer and we're going to share that bond. So when you work in the area and it's a busy area, a dangerous area, you'll see that the camaraderie is a lot stronger between people than it is when you go to a plush area where they barely see each other. So if you, you could expect to find the ambulance, once you find the ambulance that you're going to be riding on, you're going to find your EMT instructors or your EMT preceptors better yet. And here's a video 11 tips on what to do for these clinical rotations. It's going to help you very much. But once you go through that video and you basically go through what that video suggests, the next thing you could expect is to have the unexpected. I mean, we pretty much have the same jobs all the time on the ambulance. It's nine times out of 10, it's someone who didn't want to pay a cab and they call 911. Nine times out of 10 is a person who didn't know that this could be remedied at an urgent care center, but they'd rather just go to the emergency room. So nine times, nine out of 10 calls that we deal with are people that don't necessarily need a pre-hospital care intervention besides just transport. But there's always this one out of 10 calls where it's basically the unexpected. After all, you're working in the emergency setting. So you could expect, not that it happens every single shift, but you could expect a cardiac arrest. You could expect a gunshot wound, a motor vehicle accident. You could ex expect childbirth. So expect the unexpected. Prepare for the, prepare for the best, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst as well. So what can you expect? You could expect people to treat you like a fly in the wall. They're not really going to be paying too much attention to you. And if they do, that's a plus. But don't expect for them to embrace you with open arms because of what I mentioned before about the camaraderie. You haven't built yourself up. You haven't earned your stripes. So people are not going to receive you open arms. But it's all right because in due time, they will. They did for me. They've done for countless other people and they will for you as well as long as you don't quit. The next thing is, as far as the type of calls you're going to be on, just run through this, just run through this YouTube channel. I got a video titled, check it out right here, what to do when you don't know what to do, the 11 tips I mentioned before, and etc. I'm sure it'll help you feel a little bit more confident, and I hope this helps. Peace.
Thank you.